Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I am so happy to be back. It feels like it's been eons since I filmed a video with everything going on from Hurricane Harvey, then Hurricane Irma hitting us. And um, I know that a lot of us have already connected and everybody pulled through pretty well. So very, very happy and grateful for that. Um, I just want to do apologize that I haven't had any videos up in a while, but that's going to change. Today I have a haul and then it's going to be followed with another video of a process video and then some more after that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I hope everybody's doing great. I am honestly so happy to be back filming. So um, today is a little bit of Blitzy, Planner Street's new release, a hauler, some Amazon and something from Pernilla Nelson. And you guys wanna pay attention to that because she is so kind. So let's get started. Blitzy. Um, I got a few more of the oxides. I believe they were having some type of sale. I think it was little like 15% off, but I ended up getting the frayed burlap, which I love this color. The Lucky Clover. This is so different to me than the Distress Ink. I know that sounds odd, but it, it kind of comes out, um, I don't know, I just love the color that this translates to. And then my favorite, Twisted Citron. So I got all of these in the oxides. I believe they were $4.79 is what they came out to be. So happy to have those. I also picked up some uh, Little Bee Halloween tape. You guys may have seen they're still having this sale on all the... Um, I don't know if it's all Halloween, but it's all Little B. So this really cute um, print, it's wide and it's like foiled and it has like a Halloween scene. Isn't that moon cool? I think that's so neat. The man in the moon there with the, you know, debossed bats. And then the same thing just in eyes. Isn't that neat? Sorry if you guys hear that background noise. We have people cutting and chopping down trees everywhere, so it might be a little loud. All right, next I got my favorite glue. This is, you guys know I rave about this all the time. This is that iCraft um, ThermoWeb Mixed Media Adhesive. I love this stuff. It's, it's just my ride or die. So they were having, again, that sale, so it was 15% off. Uh, I think I got it for $3.89, so that one. Then I got this guy. Interesting story about this. If you guys have this, you know, comment down below. This is that We Are Memory Keepers goodie bag, um, ruler, guide, everything. And what it does is it makes the goodie bags in all the different sizes that you would like. So I saw a very long time ago a demonstration on HSM. And it came with all the papers and some embellishments and things like that. And um, it just crossed my mind the other day. And I said, oh, I wonder if they have that because I had a 20% off coupon for HSM. They did not have the ruler. I looked everywhere. So Amazon, eBay, everybody had like a different configuration, some with paper, some with embellishments and just varying prices. The cheapest I'd found it, um, I think it was like 15 or $17 just for the ruler or stencil. I don't know what you guys want to call it. Um, but then I went to Blitzy and I found it. I think it was $9, maybe a little cheaper. So I'm so excited. So I've already played around with it and I'm still getting to learn this guy, but I've made a couple little baggies. Um, they're just very simple. I'm just messing around with different paper types, using some edgers, just to see what I can kind of do with it. So regular papers, um, you know, like soft regular paper. And then this is, this is actually a freezer paper. I just wanted to see like to make like a little goodie bag. Um, and then pocket ones for maybe some, I don't know, some flip books I wanted to do. So little pockets. And then this is a thinner type of scrapbook paper. I believe I got this from the Dollar Tree and a nice wide one and you can see it's those are the ridges that it does if you guys have this you know but you see i ripped it there it definitely has a learning curve you have to figure this thing out the paper thicknesses definitely determine how well your edge will be so what i did to kind of get away from that is use some of my fun scissors and just you know 
it's the same exact pattern. So if you don't have like a perfect rip, just use your fun scissors and you can kind of get that border you want. Or you can use, um, like I did this Spellbinders, border abilities, things like that, just to make whatever type of border you'd like. So a lot of possibilities with this guy and I'm really happy that I got it um, so cheap. I wanted to get the glassine paper and what's interesting is every single place I went, Amazon, HSN, eBay, other places, the glassine paper that kind of comes with this kit, it had the worst reviews. And I was like, oh, geez, I don't know if I want to get the glassine paper now. But if you guys have tried that, you know, the glassine paper that goes with this, please let me know. I'm, you know, my heart says don't get it because of the reviews. I mean, they're just across the board bad. But I don't know if I maybe got my own glassing paper and tried it that way. It would work better. So anyways, that one. Very excited. All right. Um, I picked up some more Stick It. And this is the uh, 8 by 6 and 8. You know, the larger size. And I ran out, so I'm very happy. But I just ordered some scrappy uh, tape from Scrapbook Pal. So very, and very similar uh, size so I'm waiting for that to come in well as well. I picked up this one for a friend of mine um, As you guys may have seen on her Instagram. She's been coloring a lot of Prisma um, I'm sorry Prima stamps and they're so beautiful and she just keeps coloring and coloring all these Prima illustrations, so I saw this and I just thought of her so I got her this stamp. I hope she likes it. They were having a really nice sale on all their Prima stamps. And wow, was that hard to choose from. They have so many Prima stamps. I had no idea, but look how large this is. I had no idea it was going to be this big. So there it is. I hope she likes it. All right. Excuse me. Okay. Decline that. All right. Next. <clears throat> uh, this one I got. It is... I'm, it's a coloring book. I'm kind of bummed out about this because when I got it, it was, uh, I think, oh my gosh, I don't know, I think $11. And that was, I believe, the sale. Well, I went back, I think, ye yesterday, and it's on sale for like five something. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? But that's okay, I got it home. I just, I hate it when that happens, that you buy something that's on sale and then a few days later, it's like half off of that. But anyways, this is by Kaiser Color. It's a cats and dogs coloring book and I thought this was so cute. Look at this. You guys know I'm not a cat person, but I'm a dog person. Well, I'm an animal person. So I don't know if I'm gonna give this away. I might, I might do a giveaway for it because it really is a nice book once you start thumbing through here. And I have enough coloring books and I know that there's some people out there who might like this. Um, there's a lot of you cat girls out there. So cute. So anyways, uh, oh, how cute. So I got this book, very nice. And I believe that's it from Blitzy. Okay, let's move on to the next store. All right. This is going to be a little long, not too long. It's just I've been waiting for power so I could do the video. Okay, let's get Amazon out of the way. Okay, so I went back to Amazon after I got those mermaid stamps and I forget what the other one was, but the ones I was so excited about that I got for $3. Well, I got three. No, I'm sorry. I got, yes, I got four, four of these dragon stamps and i got four so that i could keep one and give three away you guys they're identical i know not everybody's okay with buying these because they're not from the original company but hey i buy a lot of stuff i give a lot of stuff away i can't afford 20 dollars per stamp set when i'm doing a giveaway every month for three people so i'm okay with spending three dollars to get a beautiful stamp set so there's the three I'm giving away. Here's the one I got for myself. And I went ahead and stamped a couple out just so you guys can see they're, they're identical. Um, they're the exact same stamps. So those are those guys. So three for the dragons, three to give away. Then I got four of these ones. 
This is the Shellebrate Fantastic. Isn't this cute? Seize the day, and I love this ocean. Sending a sea full of love, and there's another hand, and just, you know, some aquatic stuff. So I got four, one for me, and then three for you guys. And I went ahead and made some cards, just so you can see the quality. Um, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I, I see nothing wrong with these at all. I think these are so cute. There are a little bit of differences from the original stamp set versus these. So I don't know if you can call it an actual dupe. There is some differences. So anyways, keep paying attention guys because the 700 subscriber giveaway is coming up. I think we're at 670 right now. So I am blown away. So um, I know I just did the last giveaway where I did uh, 10 people got a $15 gift card to Simon Says Stamp. So as you guys may know, if you've been following my videos, I've been getting three of everything that I've been getting for myself. So pay attention. And then again, this company gave me a free gift. I know this isn't very fancy, but it's free. It's, you know, just a bunch of filigree type of, you know, swirls and banners and just embellishments, which are nice. These are great for corners or uh, seal your envelopes or um, backgrounds if you like second generation these. These are really nice. Um, I like to take obscure kind of stamps like that, like this swirl, and just randomly put them all over a piece of paper and then use a stencil, or stencil, a die, and cut out a piece. So you really don't know what um, design you're gonna get. I think it looks nice. So this one, for free. Okay, let's see if there's anything else Amazon. Yes, there is. I, I ordered these guys a really long time ago, but hey, they're here. So these are some flower dies, and you have, I guess daisy is what I would say, like a, a daisy type of flower. So the larger, the medium, the small, and then you have your centerpiece. And what's nice is it has the detail, and I'll show you, and then you have the two leaves with the veins. So you may see here, if you use it thick enough, you actually do get the vein in there. You just have to put a couple pieces of paper underneath or a precision plate. Um, and then here is the, if I can pick it up, the large daisy, the middle daisy, and the baby daisy. And then here is the middle piece. And it does have the dots in there if you, you know, like I said, oh, here's a blue one, I'll show you. The blue one has the detail, if you can see it. You see the bumps there? So that's really nice. And I know that's not like the most matchy flower. I just wanted to get something so you guys could see it. And then the leaves. So I got that guy for a little under $3 for that whole set. So very excited about that. I've been on a flower kick lately, as you guys might know. I just, uh, Christina from Crafty Paws, she had done a couple of videos on all of the options that you could do with flowers, and I was just blown away. So I've been really on this flower kick lately. Okay, I believe that's it from Amazon. Okay, now I did want to share something with you. I'm sure this is common. I'm sure all of you have gotten it, but it just... I was so touched. Simon Says Stamp sent me a free happy birthday mail just out of the blue. I got it yesterday. So I thought I'd share it with you. They sent me um, this ice cream treat yourself. It's actually called the Feel Better stamp set. It's like one of the small ones. And the dies. I went ahead and I cut some out and colored. So there's the ice cream with the spoon there. And then they sent me this die as well, which I went ahead and cut out. I just thought this was so nice. So this is the happy birthday script, like scripty kind of die. And I went ahead and cut it out so you guys could see. But I thought that was so nice. I mean, one, how did they know it was my birthday? Two, the stamp set says feel better. How did they know I needed to feel better? I don't know. I'm. You never know. But I'm so, so thankful. So thank you, Simon Says Stamp. That was so kind of you. It's always nice to get something free and unexpected, right? Okay, so that was that. And I'm sure all of you guys get it too. I just, I've never gotten anything free like that out of the blue. Okay, guys, let's do Blitzy. 
No, I did. Let's see. Holler. Let's do holler. Okay. Now, some of the things I've already given away um, for birthdays or like just to people. I'm going to show you what I do have left in the box. And I've been waiting to do this so I can use everything. So first I got this washable watercolors. And this is by Basics. You guys are probably very familiar. Um, it's a really nice case. Let's open it up. I have not opened it yet, but it's very hardy. A dollar, a dollar for 12 colors. Of course, let's see here. Probably doing something wrong. And I know a few of you um, had made some comments about those Pepperico pencil case things. They're coming. Holler, just every, all the mail was kind of back, um, you know, put off because of the hurricane thing. So, all right, we got it open. So it has two latches here. Very, I did not know this. And then it has a tray. So you actually have your, your watercolor mixing over here and then a really nice um, large one in the middle there and yes I'm not using that brush <laughs> maybe a child would that's definitely not gonna give us any detail guys but it's still nice isn't that a really nice starter kit for a child or anyone for a dollar it's really thick you get a lot of pigment in there so I thought that was amazing and then you get your mixing palette and it comes in like a closable tray here. Very cool for a dollar. All right, I know, I'm sorry, I keep saying it's for a dollar. And look, they're showing you the um, mixing color techniques. That's really neat to show them. You know, you mix your yellow and your purple, you get your green, etc. I think that's really nice. Performance guaranteed. Go to basics.com for more ideas. Very cool. So, um, thanks to Brianna, I have a ton of watercolors now, so I'm going to to somebody who's either starting their stash or a child. I mean, I, most of my basic watercolors were from either Crayola or I forget the other name of that company, the one from Michaels, the basic one. Okay, moving on. Since we're talking about watercolors, I got this watercolor palette. Um, cause I didn't know this had that little palette there. I had no idea. Um, so I got this to go with this. So I thought this thing was like this big. It's like a dinner plate, you guys. A dollar. I just, hello. It's normally a dollar fifty, but if you watch for price drop, it's like 50 cents off. So you have this whole entire flower of, of bowls. And then you have your thumb holder. And then you have some really large sections here. And then you have, let's see, six, seven, eight, again, over here on the side. And those kind of look like the, the two that you mix. Isn't that nice? I'm very, very impressed with how large this was. So a dollar for that guy. All right, and I thought that would make a nice gift. All right, this one I got for, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna give it to her or not because I think the pieces are too small now that I see it. Um, but for Skylar, the girl, the little girl in the UK that I write to for the Little Warriors, it's a little unicorn jewelry box. Now, I thought it was just a, a felt or velvet jewelry box. That's all I thought it was. But it also comes with a little necklace. Isn't that cute? Let me see if I can get in there and show you guys. Isn't that cute? It has a little, you know, fake gem there and a little unicorn. And then it's a little trinket box. You can take this portion out and put whatever you'd like in there. I thought that was so cute. It's normally $5, but I got it on price drop for $3.50. I thought this was just so adorable. So I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm gonna give it to her. She's two, so that, you know, small pieces like that, not so good. But. It's gonna go to a little girl somewhere. I thought that was adorable. Okay, speaking of little girls, I got this Bunny Balm lip balm. Is this so cute, you guys? Look at this. It's a bunny lip balm, and it's like a natural color. It just basically gives you a little bit of shine. Isn't that so cool? I think that's so adorable, $1.50. I can't wait to use that. Okay, then, random I know. 
These are these cupcake papers, but they came in these sugar skull designs. So I've been messing around with some uh, paper lollipops, which I'll show you at the end of the video. So I figured I would do something with, you know, the bulk of them. Some I'm going to actually use for cupcakes that I'm going to make, but some I was going to try to use in my crafting because I thought they were so cute and Halloween-ish. So those for, I think they were 50 cents. I believe they were 50 cents, but they still have them if you guys are interested. So I got those. Then, yep, I got another grab bag. <laughs> you guys know what these are by now. And you know, the other day I went to Publix um, before the hurricane hit and went grocery shopping. And I had, I think three in my cart, um, maybe two or three, but it filled up my cart so nice, divided up my groceries, non-perishable, etc. And when I got to the checkout, the checkout people were so impressed and happy that I had this system. They're like, that makes our life so much easier. And it did, it was boom, 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 boom. And into my house, groceries were put away. I knew where everything went. It wasn't that, you know, where you unpack your bags, you're like, okay, wait, where's the cilantro? Uh, where's the, the, the eggs? You know, like, you know where everything is and what needs to go in your fridge or your cupboard. So um, these were uh, $2. The ones that are insulated, I believe are three or four. So got the, another one of those. All right. Next from Holler. Okay, no judging. I gave my girlfriend a set already and she, the one that gave me the birthday bag, Victoria, the one who has a great sense of humor. Okay, so I got a ton of these. They're hilarious. They are, uh, they are disposable G-strings. Three pairs, one size, on the run. I guess because you just never know when you need a G-string. I don't know. But you get three pairs in here. So I had gotten her one for her birthday and she just thought it was the best thing ever. And they're a dollar. A dollar. And you get a three pack of these disposable G-strings. I think it's great. You have a little Velcro strap, but it doesn't matter because they're disposable. You're not putting them back in. But I just don't know what that occasion would be that you need a disposable G-string. Like, hold on, yep, I've got one in my bag. I just don't know what, I, if you guys can think of that situation, let me know. Well, I can think of a couple situations now that my head's kind of wrapping around it, but I got them more for the novelty of it. So if you're watching, Please don't be offended if you receive one of these in a happy mail. I think they're hilarious. Okay, next, I'm only gonna pull out one because you guys have seen these by now. I got two more of the Lisa Frank books. I stock, 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 stock this hauler and when they came back in, they had five in stock. I put all five in my cart and when I checked out, it was only two. Don't know what type of science is behind that, but they gave me two. So you guys are familiar with this, I'm sure. Um, they are $4. They are listed at $5.50, but if you get them on price drop, they're five. But even at, I mean, I'm sorry, at four. But even at $5.50, they're a great price. You guys have seen these. These things are, I can't even show you all. It's huge. That's the puzzles. These stickers and the books and the marker, the huge activity book. And then you have an entire sticker pad over here. And you know what? This one I will open because this one I'm giving away and I know who I'm giving it to and I don't think they would mind that I just show you the stickers. Okay, so it's very hardy, very thick pad. Let's see here. Oh my God, you guys. I might keep one for myself. Look at these stickers. Let's just take a moment. Look at the penguin on the cake. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at the happy birthday. The spider, the dolphins, the ABCs. Okay, next page. Oh my gosh, look at all that. This is just like a rainbow explosion. Next one, animals, the orca, the penguins. Oh, the snow leopard, the seal. Look at the baby polar bear, the turtle, husky. The seal, dolphin. I'm in love, you guys. Okay, the next one. 
the tiger, the unicorn, the swan, the horse, the panda bears with the rainbow umbrella. Look at that unicorn. Oh my God, that's beautiful, you guys. Look at, you know what? Um, Lynn just colored a really beautiful frog coloring book and it came out beautiful like that. Oh, the baby, the baby horse, the squirrel, the piglet. Oh my God, I'm sorry guys, I just have to show this to you. I wish you could see this in person. It is so colorful. Okay, then they have these backgrounds for you to decorate. Not gonna do that, but a child would and I think that's fun. The rainbow castle. Sorry, I'll try to hurry up. Okay, this is stationary. So it stops with the backgrounds right there with the castle. So you basically get the two backgrounds right there. Oh, three, sorry guys. You get the store looking thing, the iceberg with the colorful trees, and then you get the castle with the pond right here. Then the rest is stationary for letters. Oh, I'm in love. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep stocking it, but you guys, go check it out, seriously. Over 750 stickers, $4. This thing is huge. Okay, sorry, okay, so I got two of those. So, that's that from Holler. Okay, moving on, let me put everything back, and we're almost done. So, all right, I'll deal with that later, okay, so. I think I told you guys that I got the Planner Street release and I was so excited. So if you guys don't know who Planner Street is, um, which I'm sure you do, they're this really adorable company that makes planner stamps and stickers and other things. So this is what I got. Um, this is Planner Street. They have really cute, whimsical types of things. I got one of the, um, the girls group the plan, or like it says, plan with me. It's a large sticker. Then I got this guy right here, the journaling panda, and this is one consecutive stamp. So it's like a bullet point. So like, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or you know, however you want to break it up. This is for a box topper. And then you have um, num 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 num. This guy right here. Not really sure. We tried to figure out what she's doing there. Is she massaging him? Is that like a blanket? What's going on with her head? I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, is she Asian with the thing in her? I don't know. You guys comment down below. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, the little boy. I thought he was cute. That's kind of why I got this one. And then the panda with the unicorn head. So I stamped those out. They're very cute. Just playing around with them. So those ones, nice size, but they're meant for planners, but you can make cards out of them. And then I got this one. This was the Believe set, and it has like a little banner there, and then you have the little unicorn, and then her with like a horn coming out of her hair. The Believe uh, script font, this one I love. She's like in a pajama unicorn set. The cat, and then another banner stamp right there. So I stamped a couple of those out, and you can see they're just cute. They're just cute, I love them, and they're always nice size stamps. So that is what I got from Planner Street when they had their release. I stayed up until I think it was midnight my time, so <clears throat> happy to have those. Okay, let me see what else I have to show you. I think it's one more thing. Okay, it is. All right, two more things. So Pernilla Nelson, you guys probably know her by now. She's the one that makes really awesome digital stamps and you get them on Facebook but she also is selling more physical stamps now as well. They're unmounted, but they're still great stamps. So this, she just makes the most beautiful envelopes. I have another one hanging up there that you guys can't see, but I just love how she decorates her envelopes. I think it's so nice. Okay, so let me show you. The reason I want to show you guys this is because she asked me to give some away. So when I do a giveaway, I'm going to put this in the giveaway if you guys are interested. I love her stamps, her art's amazing. So she made this beautiful card and that's one of her stamps. And she says here, um, I have packed some extras for you to give away. I hope you'll enjoy the stamps. So I'm gonna show you the extras. Some moose, I bought the digital. This awesome owl, I already own him. 
they stamp amazing you guys if you don't have some of the foam mount I don't put them on foam mount I just use my misty the way it is and then this adorable little gnome I bought him as well he is so cute and colored oh my gosh if you guys have seen Melissa Goodman's Instagram she does a lot of Pernilla's art and her cards are just five star and then um, these ones were the goodies for me that she sent me but I'm not sure if I'm gonna give these away yet I may um, it's a little character here he's one of my favorites I'll show you you guys are probably familiar about the digi but he's so tiny here this little guy right here and then the heart so I think I'm gonna give these guys away too because I already own the digital stamp all right so let me show you what I got and that's her Pernilla Nelson All right, I got this beautiful geisha girl. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Isn't she cute? I'm sorry I don't have her stamped out already, guys. Isn't she adorable? I just love that. All right, this girl is adorable. She's got like really long pigtails. I just love her illustrations. I think they're beautiful. And then I got myself the gnome as well. So that guy. All right, guys, so I'm going to be giving these away per Pernilla. Check her out. And uh, that's her name. And I put her link down below before. But if you guys are having troubles finding her, that's her name, Pernilla Nelson. There's her email. She also is on Facebook. She's on Instagram. But she's very easy to find. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see those. Look what she did. She actually put more extras in the back, you guys. And she cut out these beautiful, that's her logo. So look, even more goodies. All right, guys, so if you're interested in that, now I'm gonna show you one last thing, and then the video will be over. Okay, prepare yourself. And here we go. I've been making paper lollipops. This is what I did during the hurricane when I had no power, <laughs> plus, I made a bunch of pom-poms <laughs> so you guys will be getting lollipops and pom-poms so this is adorable I made the new Darcy's uh, unicorn I just cut the pumpkin off and I made this guy I made some Halloween ones very fun a lot of Halloween ones because I wanted to get these out the door very fun and you guys might remember I got these wood pieces from Joann's, I believe. I believe it was Joann's. I did a crafty one. These are all going out to you guys um, for my Happy Mail. I have, I'm so sorry, forgive me. I've been set back, but you guys are getting your mail soon. Uh, this one, just a fun little summary kind of one. Another Happy Halloween. Another Halloween. This one was fun to make. I'll show you if you can zoom in. I like that owl there very mysterious and then a sunshine one okay I am now the reason I'm showing you guys this is because um, everybody that I owe mail to you guys are getting one and then my next video is me making some of these so if you guys are interested come back or keep your eye out or definitely press the little notification bell so you know if I've uploaded and with that said Here's what I'm gonna do so that I get out more process videos. I'm going to do them live, so they might be a little longer than some of my previous process videos, but if I do them live without doing vo voiceovers, I can get them out to you faster. The editing is taking weeks, and I have a ton of videos that are processed, but they need to be edited, and Sometimes that can take a couple weeks, so it's easier for me to just do live videos. So if you bear with me, I'm gonna just start doing some live process videos and um, that's it. So you guys can see some of the stuff I make when I make it. All right, that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already because we're almost at 700 and we have so much stuff to give away. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.